Chairman Casey, Ranking Member Enzi, thank you for scheduling this hearing. Uh, thank you for allowing me the opportunity for some time to speak. And let me say, Bob, you are a tremendous partner. Uh, we've done a number of things together, some easier than this, some that went a lot faster, but none more important than the legislation we're here to receive testimony on today. I want to particularly thank both of you, but uh, Kathy McMorris Rogers and Andrew Crenshaw and Chris Van Hollen and Pete Sessions, uh, partners on the other side of the hill that have shown unbelievable passion at resolving what I think is a common sense legislative approach. When Mike Enzi talks about 74 co-sponsors, I don't think it's ever happened since I've been here. But where we should be jubilant with the support, I sit here thinking, what's wrong with these other 26? <laughs> where, where have we failed? And hopefully today will be the culmination of, of Bob Buskett and the rest of them. Uh, I think it's already been said the ABLE Act enjoys this unprecedented bipartisan support with over three quarters of Congress now putting their name on the bill as co-sponsors and we ought to vote on it today. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, it's hard for me to find a reason why anyone would want to get in the way of this bill because it allows parents of disabled children the opportunity to save their own money for their child's future and to give that child a shot at financial independence. As a father, I know that a piece of the American dream, no, let me say it, the American dream is a parent's ability to make sure that their children are taken care of, to make sure that they're self-sufficient, not just financially, but through what we teach them. And I, 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 I heard what Mike Enzi said about Helen Keller. Helen Keller was stopped by a, a reporter one day, and the question was this, can you think of anything worse in life than to lose your sight? And she paused for a moment and she said, yes, to have my sight and lose my vision. Now, you, we might talk about this being a dream. This is a vision. It's a vision of parents of affected children. It's a vision of this country that we should empower every family to have the capabilities to take care of the next generation. And Helen Keller's a reminder that we can't lose what the vision is of what we're trying to accomplish. So I hope, Mr. Chairman, that the ABLE Act does not get lost in the shuffle. It's unfortunate, but in Washington, we spend most of our time arguing about issues that divide us. For heaven's sakes, let's pass a bill that we all support, that we all know is sound policy, and that we all believe will make the world a big difference to families who are simply asking for the hope and the dream and the vision. We've been working together in good faith with all stakeholders, and I look around this room and few people haven't been in the meetings, to improve and perfect this bill for eight years. Um, if there's one thing we can be accused of, it's persistence. Uh, we haven't gone away, so let's pass the ABLE Act. Let's do it now. Also, Mr. Chairman, I want to briefly welcome my fellow North Carolinian, Robert uh, D'Amelio, to the hearing today. Robert lives in Charlotte. He and his wife, Christy, are the proud parents of three beautiful children, Nicholas, 18, Christopher, 15, and Lindsay, 10. He volunteers his time with the Boy Scouts of America as leader in the autism community in Charlotte, as two of his three children are affected by autism. Bob, I want to personally thank you and Christy for traveling to Washington to testify today about the challenges your family has faced and will continue to face as a family affected by autism. I know the hopes and fears we have for our children can be profound and intensely personal. So I admire your courage and the courage of all of our witnesses today in coming here to speak about your deepest hopes and fears publicly. It will help Congress better understand your unique challenges and truly believe that public policy in this area will be better because of your testimony and my vision today is that it will help us to get those final 24 senators signed on. I thank all of our witnesses. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the floor.